As somebody who managed to get a rope caught into a ceiling fan, that really sucks, so I can relate. Where is everyone? All dead. Isaac Clark? He shot the rest. Then radio for reinforcements! But how will they reach us? We can open the ventilation systems from in here. Don't open the ventil. Do it now! You're gonna open up their. The we better find them before the reinforcements arrive. Come on! Yeah, the reinforcements aren't gonna arrive. It's just gonna be lots of necromorphs coming through the vents. Or us. Oh, this bench isn't working. I'm sad. And now I'm happy again. Doesn't take much to put a smile on my face. Also, I'm thoroughly shocked that I have any inventory space left. <laughs> I guess I have to thank the exploding babies or what... Well, those couldn't have been babies, honestly, so I don't know. I guess they were the... Dogs? I don't know, they were too small to be dogs. And I'm done. What I might end up doing, if, you know, we don't change weapons too much and weapon circuits become more of a thing, I might just start putting that information down at the bottom, but what that would mean is basically during those sections I'd need you to scan over all of your upgrade circuits and so I can tally it all up. Uh, okay. Well, as as per usual, I, I will send you all the footage. Well, but I mean, make sure that while you're recording, you go over, you know, you highlight all of the upgrade circuits for both weapons. Oh, okay. Because I won't be able to tell just by looking at them. Oh, all right. But that's, that's if, really. Experimentation. Yeah. Oh, it's one of these. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, the little bases from the snowy part of Tavalantis. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, all of Tavalantis is snowy. It's just that I think this is just more like a waypoint area. Huh. So apparently the these aliens spoke in musical notation and they wrote a whole bunch of their script everywhere because they knew they didn't have long to live and they wanted to The misshapen moon in orbit. That's what controls the markers. It's the end state of these creatures. Or rather, it would have been. You see? The natives of this planet constructed a machine that froze the moon in mid-formation. But it wasn't enough. Even half-formed, the moon's marker signal speaks to the markers back home. And it doesn't end there. There is a network of brethren moons spanning the stars. As each one completes, it connects to this network, making them aware. If this moon should complete, its brothers will all come, looking for food. But there is hope. The natives never finished configuring the machine. It wasn't meant to merely freeze the moon, it was meant to destroy it. You'll need the Codex. It is the key to unlocking this machine and reconfiguring it. Follow my trail into the heart of the machine and end this nightmare. It's almost as if he knew. Carver, did you hear that? The machine can crush the moon. It just needs to be properly configured. What about Danik? Stopping Danik won't be enough. We need to get that codex back. It's the key to reconfiguring the machine. Huh. The hell? Oh yeah, we have to have to speak the uh the thing to get through. Where is the... The heck am I looking? Oh. 
open. Yep, so now we have something to replace the hacking minigames with. I basically just saw it as up, down, up. It's an interesting way to move forward. Yeah, I know Newbie's waiting at the door. I'm standing next to him. Um... Um... Yes? Must be ground zero. And that must be the machine. So I guess this is it, huh? Yeah. This is it. I need you to promise me something. If I don't make it, you'll get this done, right? We'll get this done, Carver. You and me. Yeah, but if I don't. I helped get us this far. And that's close enough for all this to count, right? Count for what? For... I don't know, just... All the bad I've done. Oh, shut up, Carver. You're a good man. I alienated my son. Wrecked my family. Isaac, I killed Santos. Is that what a good man does? Good men mean well. You just don't always end up doing well. Yeah. Hey. I'm sorry about Ellie, man. Me too. Me too. This way! Oh. Look, it's damp. It's not too late. Don't turn it back now, right? Let's go get that codex. All right. So I'm guessing this is the conversation that a bunch of single-player uh, players got to with Carver saying all that, thinking to themselves, wait, what? Yeah, myself included. That was insanely confusing. I was like, what in the hell is he even talking about? But as someone who has played through, only seen the co-op version of this, I get all that. So the point is, ladies and gents, even if the co-op is pointless, play it. Because it kind of helps. Yeah, for, for one scene. No, no, I, I like it. I like this. I like this whole thing going on. I have to say, I'm enjoying myself. Danik, you have to stop. Isaac, is that you? You are unbelievable. I survived through three yeah, games, I yes. Danik, do you know about the moon? Do you know what it is? Part of the miraculous ecosystem, I assume. It's alive, Danik. It's hungry, and it isn't alone. If you turn off the machine, you'll set it free. And then it and all its brothers find our markers, find us, and wipe us out. How can you presume to know its intentions? You fear it because you don't understand it. No, Danny, I've played out. three games, and I know what Danny, this thing are does. You to me? Motherfucker. Yeesh. Also, this is important. What's... okay, what's important? <laughs> oh. I was wondering what this thing was over here. You might want to step back. Oh, dear. Okay, so, but how did they get through then, if we have to clear this way? Uh, they probably put the stuff in the way. Hmm. Yes, because uh, th th that's worked uh, before. Come on. Yeah, that's what you get. 
Watch as Newbie Spud trivializes this game. Yeah, this is this is a min-maxed Mjolnir I'm carrying here. I guess it's the this is the equivalent to like a satchel charge. <laughs> Artifacts. All the oh boy. All the unitology. I think the unitology stuff is damage. Back up. Uh, another reflection from Jacob Danik saying, oh, well, now I understand, you know, basically what he said in that cutscene. You know, the previous race was too afraid to make the leap. Well, we're not going to be that afraid, are we? Oh, joy of joys. Hey! Isaiah, I got you. The fuck kind of plan is this? Give it to me! Christ, you're heavy! God, Isaac, you're slipping! Isaac! No! Oh boy. Okay, so something's going right for a change. Ah. <sighs> Unfortunately, well, for every right thing that happens. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Um, want to take a stab at what exactly we fell into? Some kind of... Uh oh yeah, I'll wait till you're not being torn by the way. Some kind of nest? No, it's not a nest. It's a... Well, I see markers everywhere, but like homegrown markers, like, out of the ground. Uh, ooh, there, there it is. Well, I mean, it, it's a nest of sorts. Nice. Oh, here, more of them coming. All right, just explain what this is. Uh, yeah, you remember uh, back in Dead Space 2, the the freezer? Uh, we fell into a crypt. Oh, good. Some kind of alien burial ground. Yep. And. What happened to them down here has served as a cautionary tale to us. What drove them to such extreme behavior, to such depravity and violence? I have sequestered their bodies in the staging compound. There I hope to find out oh, for Pete's sake. Demise, to the workings of the artifact they discovered in the depths. Optional mission, then. I was wondering. The <laughs> Don't worry, it's the last one, I think. Okay. I'm I'm fairly certain this is the last one. 